Hello, son of gold and my brother. This is your awakening. Say my mind and you don't die. Give as you receive and your release is certain. Today's teaching is the number 53 in the series the undoing the dispelling of the ego, the undoing of the old, the dispelling of the illusion for the freedom of the sonship, for the prime creator of light and my father. And we are in the, in the part 53 and today we will review the following. My meaningless thoughts are showing me a meaningless world. Since the thoughts of which I'm aware do not mean anything, the world that pictures them can have no meaning. What is producing this world is insane and so is what it produces. Reality is not insane and I have real thoughts as well as insane ones. I can therefore see a world if I look to my real thoughts as I can therefore see a real world if I look to my real thoughts as my guide for seeing. I'm upset because I see a meaningless world. Insane thoughts are upsetting. They produce a world in which there is no order anywhere. Only chaos rule a world that represents chaotic thinking and chaos has no laws. I cannot live in peace in such a world. I'm grateful that this world is not real and that I need not see it at all. I need not see it at all unless I choose to value it. And I do not choose to value what is totally insane and has no meaning. A meaningless world, a meaningless world and gentle fear. The totally insane and gentle sphere because it is completely undependable and offers no grounds for trust. Nothing in madness is dependable. It holds out no safety and no hope. But such a world is not real. I have given it the illusion of reality and have suffered from my belief in it. Now, I choose to withdraw this belief and place my trust in reality. In choosing this, I will escape all the effects of the world of fear because I'm acknowledging, I'm acknowledging that it does not exist. Next idea. God did not create a meaningless world. How can a meaningless world exist if God did not create it? He is the source of all meaning and everything that is real is in his mind. It is in my mind too because he created it with me. Why should I continue to suffer from the effects of my own insane thoughts when the perfection of creation is my home? Let me remember the power of my decision and recognize where I really abide. My thoughts are images that I have made. Whatever I see reflects my thoughts. It is my thoughts that tell me where I am and what I am. The fact that I see a world in which there is suffering and loss and death shows me that I'm seeing only the representation of my insane thoughts and I'm not allowing my real thoughts to cast their beneficent light on what I see. Yet, God's way is so. The images I have made cannot prevail against him because it is not my will that they do so. My will is his and I will place no other gods before him.